Let's get right to it. I don't know of any other data role, or any other role for that matter, that has the salary range as wide as a data analyst role does. All right, before we get started, if you don't know what a data analyst is, I'll put a link down below to a post I authored on the topic. A data analyst is not a data engineer, it's not a data scientist, it's not a machine learning engineer, it's not anything else. A data analyst is a data analyst. Now, if you don't agree with me or you think I'm wrong, please do yourself a favor and head over to Microsoft and check out what their definition is. Why is their definition the right one? Because they helped define and create the role. Long before there was a Google, a Facebook, an Amazon, you get the idea, there was a Microsoft. If you pioneered the role, you get to define what it is, just how it works. Okay, we've beat that horse to death. Learn the roles and what they are. Prior to the last decade or so, it started off around 20 an hour, and then moved to about 40 or maybe even 50 an hour. It was rare, and I had never seen a data analyst make more than six figures until recently. Recently, meaning the last decade or so. The other day, I saw a role for a Power BI expert with a 200K salary attached to it. I've never seen anything like that before. Here's a data analyst role at Home Depot. Now, there's no salary, but I like how they broke down exactly what they want you to do. Here's another data analyst role at Kaiser. Notice what they are doing with the roles on Indeed now. They're providing you with the Indeed range. So, if they ask you for your salary requirements, then put it at the top of the range. Here's a more entry-level role. They want you to know SQL, of course. They tell you they'll be creating visualizations. Great, you know that. But they don't give you a tool or salary range. So, if you apply to a role like this, go ahead and put $30 an hour as a minimum. Honestly, this exercise has been a little frustrating for me. Here's an easy way to think about salary progression in the data roles. Most IT roles, really. Most of them will have three different tiers. Entry level are also called a junior role, a mid-level, and a senior level. In the U.S., the range seems to be around 25 an hour at the low end, and at the mid, around 40 an hour, and then the senior level types around 60 an hour up. Now, what's the time range look like? Entry level in the U.S. is around one to three years, mid is around three to five, and five year plus is often senior level. The great thing about this role is the mobility. Once you're in a data analyst role for a year or so, you could begin training to be a data engineer, a machine learning engineer, a DBA, or a SQL developer, or you can stay as a data analyst. You have a ton of options. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, have a great day. We'll see you soon.